Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about how to calculate information gain on numerical features. In our previous classes, we already discussed about how to calculate information gain and we used that information gain in constructing the decision trees. The example data set which we considered in our previous classes is play, play tennis data set. Just take a look at this data set. In, we are having four columns, outlook, temperature, humidity and wind. All these columns are categorical features. We don't have numerical feature in this data set. That's why we will understand how to calculate information gain on numerical features in this class. We are in an assumption that you have already watched our previous classes. So you know how to calculate information gain and you know how to generate decision trees. Based on that assumption, we are discussing this class. So coming to this class, let's take an example data set. This is our example data set. N of means numerical feature. Let's We are taking one numerical feature and one output uh, and output class. One means positive class, zero means negative class. This is our example data set. So we have to calculate information gain on this column. So what we do here is uh, take, that, take the numerical feature column and we have to do ascending order. We have to sort this numerical feature. So after sorting this numerical feature in ascending order, we got this, we got this new table. This is our data set after sorting our numerical feature. So what we do here is uh, let's take the first value. What's the first value? 2. So T1 as 2 the values that are less than or equal to 2 as considered as one partition and greater than 2 is considered as another partition means here we are having two partitions the values that are less than or equal to two, one partition greater than to one partitions two partitions now we know how to calculate information gain so calculate information gain by taking 2 as the threshold value so again do it on 5. What is the next distinct value? So we, we should not do on this 2 because it is already done because repeated values we don't do. We do it on the distinct values. Let us take 5 value. Means the values that are less than or equal to 5 1 partition greater than 5 1 partition. Again calculate information gain. So do it on all the distinct numerical features which we got here. Numerical values which we got here 2, 5, 6, 7 the value the numerical value that is giving highest information gain that value is considered for splitting this is how we calculate information gain on numerical features hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you